Ah, what a beautiful day. I think we're going to go feed the pigs today. So, get my wheat and I'm going to go over to the pigs. Wait. You're not pigs! Hello everyone! How are you all doing? My name is Lock Rawls and welcome to another building tutorial. Today, I'm going to be doing the interior of a house, which you may or may not recognise. It's my Brie house. Um, if you haven't watched the tutorial for that already, a link should appear now, where I did a full tutorial of how to build this lovely little house. Um, I decided that I wasn't going to put this house inside of Brie. I've actually put it in Combe, which is a village to the back of Brie. Um, Brie is actually over the other side of this mountain here. It's over there, and this village is sort of halfway up the mountain, uh, I'll just fly it back so you can see that it's actually on a quite bit of a slope. Um, you need to climb through the forest <laughs> to get to it. Um, so that should be quite fun, quite cool. Um, got a lot of RP elements in that. Um, anyway, uh, whether or not uh, this video is going to be released before or after the uh, build update, I'm not too sure. So you may have seen the tour of this village already. If not, you're getting a little bit of a spoiler. But we should probably jump straight into it anyway, because we've got a lot to do. And you can see this house is just completely empty shell right now. Um, I'm going to be placing the floor, and I'm going to use World Edit for this, because I want to save myself a little bit of time. But if you don't have World Edit, uh, not a problem. You're just going to take a bit longer. And I'm just going to go Set uh, Wood. There we go. And we've got some wooden planks. And then we'll just do this bit here like so set wood and then we'll just fill in these little bits because it's not really worth doing bold edit for this bit here oh and this corner here um so where i paste it in it's actually built into the side of the mountain and we've lost uh, a small amount of the house so i'm just going to cover up the bits we don't really want to see uh we'll just put a load of cobblestone across here we don't really need build in this bit here okay and yeah there we go um, I'm now going to do the roof so we want three up so the roof should probably start about here um, so we just get welded it again point one and point two and then oh set wood and then we'll do the same on this side here Oh, uh, can we get rid of this bit? Nope, we don't want to get rid of that. So this will be the first point. And this will be the second. Set wood. And once again, the last little bit. Jump down. There we go. The roof is done. I'm going to need to put a few torches down. Uh, these will just be placeholders for now. We will replace it with proper lighting later on. But at the moment, I can't see anything. And I'm sure you can't watching it on YouTube. Um, so I'm just going to create um, rooms now. Um, I can't build anything here. So we should do something with this bit here. And then um, we'll put another room. Oh, how should we do this? Um, I think we've only really got enough room for one room. And then we might have to do the stairs here. Um, we could do the stairs here. And then a room here. And the entrance should be around here. Okay. And let's create that there. So that's the room. Um, fairly spacious, quite large. Uh, we'd have more rooms upstairs. Um, so yeah, we'll just go for that for now. And we'll just make a quick staircase. Um, so let's get out. Um, okay, and we'll place a staircase. up here okay and right um, so rooms over here we can possibly we can make this into a small room here um, and this needs to be a room Um, 
we can put another room in here. And then maybe... Here. How about a room here? So quite spacious still. Yeah, that works fairly well. Um, we can have the entrance to that there, the entrance to this room here, the entrance to this room here. So we'll come back in a moment and we'll continue with that. So just jump down again and we'll start working on the actual building of the interior. So we'll do something cool with this here. And let's get some blah, 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 blah. let's get some cobblestone stairs to make this bit here. And we'll also get um, a painting. And what we'll do is we'll have painting frames coming all across here and making this look quite cool. Um, how much room do we have? Right, let's place these all across here. All the way along. There we go. And we'll do the same over here. No, oh, that's not giving us enough room really. Um, how should we have it? Uh, would it look better like that? Do we think that looked better? Um, yeah, let's go with that instead. So, stairs, stairs, like so, and then the block. Ah, we're gonna just about, yeah, we're just about do it. Okay, um, should we put in slabs or let's put the painters in first? Did I, did I even get the painting out? I don't think I did. There we go. Um, we want, yeah, there we go. That works. There we go. Um, and let's just try it out using the slabs. We can always get rid of it after. Trying to find the cobblestone slabs. There they are. Grab them, replace them. Place that there, place that there, place there, place there. Okay. Oh, I think that looks better. Yeah, we'll go with that. That looks all right. And then we'll create this room here. Now, we've only got one room on the first floor. So I think this needs to be some sort of kitchen slash dining area. Um, I think it's important to sort of work out who you want this home to be for. And I've decided this would be a nice home for a four person family. It's quite a spacious house. Um, they must be quite wealthy to live in a house like this in Middle Earth. Um, so it's gonna be a four person, quite wealthy, quite established family. And we'll just create a door. Um, we can find it, don't be on this step here. Um, and then we want a wooden door. And let's get some buttons as well. We'll place some buttons over here. And then we can enter. Okay, so this bit here actually is a bit of an indent. So we can put some sort of kitchen area here. So um, what can we have? We'll have a piston. We can use that as a surface. Um, you need to use a bit of imagination here when you make an interior. <laughs> um, and then we will use a um, crafting table, a furnace. Um, and let's also get um, cauldron, quite useful. Um, and then we want some water. Um, and then let's put let's put something over the top of the furnace. Um, we'll probably use it later on, so we'll keep that. Um, okay, so let's put a surface here. We'll put piston down. We'll put a furnace, and then cauldron. Fill it with water. Okay, so that's sort of a sort of a, um, a work surface, sort of a cooking area we've got there, and then we can make um, a bit of a table, and we can use pistons to make that. Um, we need to dig down a little bit. Oh no, too far down. Um, truly, you want to put the redstone in, just so we can have them extending up, and we can make it into a bit of a table. There we go, and then we can do some chairs. And for that, we'll use um, some oak stairs. Um, let's have it going around like that. Okay. 
Um, need a bit of light in here. It's a bit dark, a bit gloomy. Get some torches. Um, we'll get the painting out again. I think it's quite good to have lots of paintings around the place. It, it livens it up. Um, and then let's put some family portraits in. We can use some heads there. Oh, I didn't even get the torches out. <laughs> what I went into the inventory for. Okay, just light it up straight away. Put another one there. And then let's get... Oh, that will do. To be honest, we haven't really got very good paintings on the Empire War Pack. Um, probably something we need to look into getting. Um, but it will do for now. Um, and then just have some family portraits. There we go. And that looks quite nice. I know they all look the same. But they're, they're a family that look very similar. Okay, well, I think that room is about done. We've got a bit of a kitchen area. I've got a table. got some nice paintings. Uh, family portraits. Um, and let's come out here. And we can work on the hall. Um, in fact, because we've got quite a nice house, um, let's put a bit of a support beam. Uh, we'll just add a bit more detail. We'll use spruce wood. There we go. And we need to do something here. Because we can't really just have a plain hallway. I don't think it looks particularly uh, pleasant. So um, let's get out some few different blocks. Um, let's use some fences. We can make a bit of a plant. Um, we can use some trapdoors. Um, how about if we did some sort of flower bed type thing? That could look quite cool. Um, what else could we use? Some cobblestone. That could look quite nice. And then we can do, I don't know, some sort of flower bed um, in the hallway. And for that we can use, I don't know, a fern. I don't know, any random flower. Let's use some blue orchard. Okay, and okay, let's work on it then. Um, we can put a fence here and a plant there. And we can do something here and here. Place these in here. And then flower bed, like so. Get rid of that, place that there. Um, place it up on there. Okay, and that's the hallway done. So we've got a bit more lively on this bit here. Um, got some paintings here. Um, no, it makes it quite a narrow hallway, but that's fine. I've actually got a bit of liveliness to it. And let's put another beam in here. Okay. Um, let's change that round and put that there. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. Um, right, so we're on to the first floor now. Um, we could probably do with putting a roof in, but I'll probably, uh, could I do that now? Yeah, let's put a roof in now. Um, get welded it out. Change that over. Okay, so first position there. And I'll fly over. Second position. Place. Um, set wood. Oh dear, what have I done? Did I put a deck in there? Yeah, I did. It worked anyway. <laughs> oh well. Um, obviously knew what I was talking about. Um, should have probably gone another block over. Oh well. Okay, and first position. Second position. Set wood. And then the last little bit here. First position. Second position. Set wood. Okay, there we go. Looking lovely. Um, now let's build this bit up a little bit. Um, we can probably increase this here. And um, let's go over to the other side here. And let's put some slabs. If I can find them. Okay, we definitely need to do something here. Um, what could we do? Have this coming up a bit more. Have uh, this beam coming here. Um, just put some shutters on here. Oh, fell down. Fell down the stairs. And we should probably put... How about some flower pots? I think some flower pots would look quite nice there. Let's get out a flower pot. And we need some flowers. It can go into the flower pot. How about some red tulips? Um, orange tulip and a white tulip and one there oh 
Oh, I can't place it. Oh, of course, because I've got that there. Um, that's fine. There we go. Good look out. Onto comb. Very beautiful tree there. Lovely tree. Lots of flowers around. Very nice. Okay, build this up a little bit now. Um, we'll just go around placing all the walls. Should probably do something here as well. Should do that after. Just place the walls now. Okay. Oh. Okay, and this wall here. Hmm. Not really too much point to this window. Just smash it and go through. Yeah, it sort of looks onto this bit here. We could probably do away with this window, just get rid of it entirely. I'll just do that now. Um, there's literally no point in having it. Um, just put walls in here. Um, when we're making the design originally, it looked quite nice. Actually, now it's very, very dark. I need to place some torches. Um, just want them all the way along, but in reality, there's no point in having a window there um, because you can't really see very much. So we'll just get rid of that. Um, carry on. We can also have that going up to the next floor as well. Into the loft. Okay. So what should we do here? Um, we could place another beam. Place that there. And let's put a painting in. Nice few lots of paintings. Uh, there we go, that'll do. Oh, I miss it. Oh, no, no. Up there. Okay. First room. What should we do for this? Um, I think we can make this into a bathroom, personally. I think that could look quite cool. Um, we can have a bit of a bath here. Um, this can be some sort of wash basin. And we can make a toilet. Um, could be quite interesting. You, have, you don't really see many bathrooms. That's something that not, people don't really tend to make. Um, I need some water for that. Um, and I also need... What else will I need? Uh, I'm going to need a wash basin. So I'm going to go and get a cauldron. There we go. And just light this place up. Okay. So I'm going to... Okay, that's where I'll sit down. Should be the back of the toilet. Uh, there we go. That looks... That looks like a toilet. In fact, that looks a lot like a toilet. And that's like a lid. Oh, I think that looks quite cool. <laughs> there we go, and I'm on the loo. Um, okay, and this is the bath. Hello, hello world. And we'll put the wash basin. Uh, let's put the wash basin there. Okay, and we've got the one bathroom. Um, make sure we have the door on there. Um, if I can find it. And we can put a button either side. And I've done the thing where I've got rid of the torches. <laughs> so put a torch there. And a torch there. And a torch there. Okay. One room done on the second floor. So this room here, this can be the kids' room. Once again, I've got another window that I really don't need. Um, I'll just do that with it. Um... So this bit here could be the beds. I could do something here. Do some sort of play area. Um, light the place up. Okay, so let's get some beds. We can make this into bunk beds, I think. Would be quite cool. This, this is the children's room. So one, two, bunk bed, destroy that, another bed. And let's get some slabs out. I keep Getting rid of all the blocks that I need. You need so many blocks to make an interior. There we go. Lovely. Um, we can make this into a bit of a wardrobe. Um, come up here. What would look good? Um, we're going to need some doors. And then we need some blocks there. Let's use, I don't know, iron. Use an iron block of iron. And then we'll get 
trap door. Place that over there. There we go, lovely. Um, this bit here should be some sort of play area. So what could they play with? Um, how about <laughs> a railway track? Kids, don't play with railway tracks. Um, that looks quite nice. Um, we can put a minecart on it. And then what about if we use some zombie heads and <laughs> uh, children really shouldn't be playing with zombie heads, with a skeleton heads, creeper heads and railway tracks. But oh well, um, it looks quite cool for some sort of children's play area. And light up this side as well. And there we go. One children's room complete. Um, and then we'll need to get the buttons. Okay, so we've got the children's room, nice little play area, uh, a bathroom, lovely. Okay, so this has got to be the master bedroom um, for the parents, and we should probably do something here as well. Um, places coming up, and this can be into the attic. Oh, oh dear, how am I going to talk this out? Um... This isn't going to work. We're going to bump our heads. Um, how about if we come out here and... Ooh. Okay. The door can be here. Put the door in there. And we're going to have to go out here. Place that there. And then this can be the attic. That would work. That's the only way that it can work. Um, so let's do... I don't think we're going to have too much in the attic. I don't think we're going to make any rooms. I think the attic is just going to be somewhere that they can store all of their stuff. Um, we'll light it up a little bit. And we'll just place a few chests. That's all we're going to do with the attic. You could turn it into more rooms, but I don't think it's really needed. It's a big enough house already. Um, there's only four people living in there. And I don't think we need anything else. Plus we can have a long enough video already without making another floor. And then we can just get some ladders coming up here. Like so. There we go. Attic complete. <laughs> do that very quickly. Okay, so last room and then we're finished. So what can we do in here? Um, we've got a few windows looking out into the world. Uh, most of these windows are fine, we don't need to get rid of them. I really, really like this window here. This is a lovely window. Um, absolutely lovely. Um, be nice to do something with that. Um, let's work on the bed though. Um, what can we do for the bed? Um, let's use some oak wood stairs, some oak slabs, obviously the bed. Um, and, okay. Okay, so this is where they can sleep. Got a bit of a support to the bed. Um, and enough of that. Come around. Something slightly different. And that looks quite nice. Um, and then, what can we do here? Um, what can be in the parents' room? What would an adult like? Um, I think they like jukeboxes, so place a few jukeboxes. Um, I think maybe some storage. We have some storage chests here, here and here, because we've got two people. Um, and then we need to do something here. How about we just turn this into some sort of... Um, no, not that's too close. Um, how about we'll have to do? Um, and then we can have some sort of mirror here. Um, and for that, we can use some glass panes. I don't know, that looks a bit like a mirror. <laughs> we can have a bit of a mirror. So that's the final room done. And that's the interior done. That is how you do a very quick uh, and easy interior that looks quite detailed. Um, quite a lot of detail into this interior. And we're done. One house complete with interior. All we need to do is put the doors on it. And then this house is completely finished. If I can even find the doors. There we go. Complete. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.